yep. Having uh, been a TCU quarterback and then uh, moving to Cincinnati, uh, he still has a home here in Dallas. So not surprising that uh, he has at least kept tabs on the Cowboys and quarterback position and, you know, probably had uh, Jason Garrett's number on speed dial and might have had Jerry Jones's number on speed dial. And when he heard that the uh, Cowboys were drafting a quarterback in the seventh round and he was going to be let go because of Joe Burrow, I'll bet he made one of those calls. I, I Is that – that's not tampering, is it? I mean, he was still under contract uh, at that point. Nobody finds out. But, I mean, that, he's still a, under contract at that point. Is it not tampering? No, no. Yeah, I think he, he was released very quickly after the draft. So – as well, soon as he was released, he probably made that call. So the, but the real, I'm sure that he was already talking with somebody. Well, so the real question to me becomes, and, and, and you and I have had this uh, talk, but disagreeing on it. Um, I understand he's coming in as the backup. I understand that, you know, he's being let go and he's only on a, a $3 million uh, contract with the possibility of making $7 million. But yeah, I but really it basically think... depends on uh, uh, Dak getting injured and him becoming a starting quarterback. So it's very unlikely that he makes that seven million. But now, now I really do think that there's a real possibility that this could become a Nick Foles situation, where you know he steps in. He hasn't been on a good team, well, since ever in the NFL, and now he does have a good offensive line, a decent defense, and good receivers outside of A.J. Green, who he had in uh, in Cincinnati. Yeah, this is definitely the uh, most amount of weapons he's had since he's been in the NFL and probably college as well. Um, this Cowboys team, with the draft of another wide receiver, C.D. Lamb, uh, in the first round, uh, they've, they're pretty loaded on offense. Uh, tight end still a question. Is Blake Jarwin going to, you know, continue to make plays like we saw a little bit last year, or is he going to just he is what he is? Um, we're not sure where where that is right now. But with three good wide receivers, a good running back, a good offensive line, defense is starting to get some depth. Uh, obviously, the offensive line we know what can happen if there is an injury. Um, I think you know. The end of the year last year uh, for the Cowboys really put some pressure on them to find a quarterback this offseason. And uh, what happened was that Dak got injured. It wasn't well-known around the league. It wasn't well-known to the media, but he was injured, played injured. Um, and if they had had a good backup quarterback they might have actually played that backup quarterback for one game but because cooper rush was the backup uh they just threw Dak back out there uh risking further injury so i i I think this is one of those situations where they had to make a move to get at least a uh somebody who could provide depth at quarterback but they found andy dalton and just it was the right place at the right time because the cowboys didn't have anybody in the backup quarterback position really if you looked at it even with the draft at Danucci you're looking at a one a three and a four in terms of quarterback depth that number two is still an open spot for them and it was a good situation because Dalton was going to get released by Cincinnati bringing in Joe Burrows and just a perfect a match made in heaven and it, it really this off season's been tremendous for the Cowboys so far and well, a lot of it's just kind of fallen into the lap but hey you could let things fall into your lap and not take them this and is true it's happened before with this Cowboys team we know that this so is true at least they're taking it now yeah well, <laughs> they could be taking it in multiple ways but uh um, no, well I hope not this year but, but, you know, one thing that's really interesting uh, that Andy Dalton brings to the table that Dak really hasn't been known for is since entering the league in 2011, Andy Dalton is uh, a top five quarterback when it comes to comebacks as well as fourth quarter, I mean, fourth quarter comebacks and, let's see if I get this right, uh, game winning drives. So... There is a yeah. uh, there is another side to that. One side is, well, is that and usually one of, one of those is that Cincinnati is a terrible team, so they've been doubting a lot of games. 
So there's a lot of opportunities to come back. Uh, the second part of that is he's not a bad quarterback. Uh, no matter you know what people are saying, um, he, he has no chance to start in this league or whatever it is. He's not a bad backup, uh, bad quarterback, not a bad starting quarterback. Um, it's just a situation where Cincinnati wants to go young. They're going to you know restart the franchise, and Dalton's uh, what 32 years old now. Uh, will be 33 by the time football comes around potentially so uh, it's a situation where it, it, it's a match for Dalton's needs to get into a place where there's an opportunity if an injury occurs uh, to prove himself uh, as well as an opportunity for the Cowboys to protect themselves if an injury occurs which they did not do last year and probably bit them on the butt a bit at the end of the year. Well, this is where I think uh, Andy Dalton has a chance to pull off a Nick Foles-esque season, and that is where his contract, which is a $7 million one-year deal, has really been incentivized for the exact reason you said, which is coming in for Dak if he's hurt. So if he makes his entire $7 million, if he plays 35% of the snaps, and if they win the Super Bowl, if they win the Super Bowl, he has to have at least 50%. Not happening, but okay. Well, he has to have at least 50% of the snaps in the Super Bowl for him to get that entire $7 million. Yeah, the, the, the literally, it's if something happens to Dak, we want to incentivize this guy to play his best football. I don't think they need to do that, but, you know, it, why not? throw the guy a bone just in case this happens. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? That is the whole thing thing to this is both sides why not do this and but there isn't there's you know no what the funny part is is exactly bad. what you said a second ago which is everybody for some reason thinks because of what happened last year that Andy Dalton was a bad quarterback he threw 16 touchdown 14 interceptions but it's because that team was tanking to get Burrow he they well yeah. Burrow wasn't Burrow at that point but they were still tanking to to get a good player they were garbage they were absolute garbage, and you and know. It, and if you look at his, if you look at his numbers, uh, his best years were 2015, 2016, clearly, and he slowly dropped off since then. He built up to that point, slowly dropped off, but it hasn't been some kind of crazy fall off for him. That was just when they had more talented players around him. I, I do think in a system like this, where there's more talent around him, uh, and you have an injury to Dak, I. I I love the chances that Andy Dalton having a Nick Foles-esque run to a Super Bowl if something happens to Dak. But so, the people are saying Dalton's going to be a starter here. That's a joke. His numbers are not even close to what Dak has done the last two years. Um, he's 32 years old. He's coming to a system that he may or may not be familiar with. Uh, Dak's way ahead of the game. Uh, this is a, if God forbid, Dak gets injured, We've got a guy who could win a Super Bowl for us potentially, which they have not had for how long? I mean, we're looking back to who? Kyle Orton? Would you even at, at the time that Kyle Orton came in, would you have considered or him John a Super Bowl winning quarterback potentially? No, I don't think so. We had Mark Sanchez. Uh, John Kidna? You know, Drew Bledsoe, when he was the backup to Tony Romo, might have been the best backup we've ever had. Well, no, um, but, but really he wasn't. That's all I could think of. But really he wasn't, because if you look at it, no, there's a reason why he... No, the injury he, Romo came in, yeah. Well, yeah, there was a reason but, why he but lost. If you're, Uh-oh. 